Our solar system is undoubtedly one of the most interesting topics of research. The numerous celestial bodies that romp about in our planetary system next to our blue home planet fascinate us not least because of their incredible otherness. Even though Mars, Mercury, and company may at first glance appear to be only slightly different from our home planet, a closer look brings us to the conclusion that our galactic neighbors are in reality very different from Earth. In the following, we would like to take a closer look at the sixth planet of our solar system together with you. Those of you who know the planets will already know that this is Saturn. This impressive ringed planet, which was recently examined in detail by the NASA space probe Cassini, has been fascinating mankind for countless centuries. According to this, the second largest planet in our solar system was named many hundreds of years ago when the ancient Romans named the breathtaking celestial object after a significant deity. Have fun with these 10 amazing facts about Saturn. If you would like to leave Earth with us to travel to the farthest reaches of the cosmos, then show us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Let's begin the journey. The Rings of Saturn The thing that has always characterized Saturn visually is its incomparable rings. The round orbits draw themselves in almost perfect arcs around the entire equatorial plane of the planet. The first person to discover these fascinating rings was none other than Galileo Galilei. The Italian scholar first saw the ominous orbits in 1610, but the Italian first suspected that the rings of Saturn were some kind of handle. It would take more than 40 years before the impressive ring system was recognized as such. There is good reason why these rings are called a system. From a distance, one could first assume that Saturn would be orbited by a single broad orbit. In reality, however, there are more than 100,000 individual rings orbiting the planet, which differ significantly from one another in terms of their composition and coloring. While researchers in the past assumed that the rings were formed by a large number of individual, closely spaced moons, today we have a completely different level of knowledge. In fact, the rings consist mainly of rock and ice particles. The innermost of these rings is located just 7 kilometers above the planet's surface. The Density of Saturn In terms of its chemical composition, Saturn is very different from our Earth. In the case of Saturn, it is a so-called gas planet, whose mass is mainly composed of helium and hydrogen. According to this, the ringed planet has no solid surface. Nevertheless, Saturn is significantly larger than our blue home planet. In fact, the equatorial diameter, which measures about 120,500 kilometers, is 9.5 times larger than that of our Earth. With these gigantic dimensions, Saturn is also the second largest planet in our solar system and is only surpassed by Jupiter. Saturn is also the celestial body in our planetary system with the lowest density. In fact, the ringed planet is even less dense than water and would therefore, at least theoretically, be able to swim on a sufficiently large surface of water. The Flat Saturn As we all know, a day on Earth lasts 24 hours. This is the time span our planet needs to rotate once around its own axis. Saturn, however, is much quicker at doing this. As current scientific research shows, the ringed planet needs only about 10 hours for one revolution. However, it must be taken into account that gas planets differ greatly from rigid celestial bodies in terms of their rotation. Individual areas of Saturn such as the equatorial planes, rotate considerably faster than the polar regions. The high rotational speed with which Saturn travels through space also has a direct influence on the shape of the planet. Because the sixth planet in our solar system rotates so fast, immense forces act on the surface of the celestial body. In the end, this physical fact leads to Saturn's flattening over time. 
This makes it almost seem as if Saturn is being squeezed along its poles by an invisible force. The Moons of Saturn As we have already told you, Saturn is surrounded by a gigantic ring system. However, this is not the only galactic society the giant gas planet can enjoy. In fact, 82 moons orbit the ringed planet. It's very likely, however, that we will discover many more of Saturn's moons over the years, as the in-depth exploration of Saturn is still in its infancy. The largest of Saturn's moons is Titan. This natural satellite, which was named after a powerful group of gods from Greek mythology, has a diameter of over 5,000 kilometers. By way of comparison, our Earth moon has a much smaller diameter of around 3,470 kilometers. Although Titan is covered by a dense layer of ice and methane, Saturn's largest moon is still considered the most Earth-like celestial body in our planetary system. The Saturn Missions The exploration of Saturn is still in its infancy. Even though many mysteries about the ring system and the chemical composition of the planet have already been solved, the celestial body is still accompanied by many mysteries. The main reason for this is that Saturn has only been examined four times by NASA space probes. The first Saturn mission was launched over 40 years ago. In 1979, the Pioneer 11 probe made its maiden voyage to the ringed planet, which is more than 1.1 billion kilometers away from our Earth. While the next two unmanned flights to Saturn were carried out at intervals over the following two years, it was to take more than 15 years before the Cassini carried out the last Saturn mission to date in 1997. The spacecraft, which in addition to the ringed planet also examined its moons and rings in detail, reached the gas planet after a seven-year flight and from then on explored the celestial body and its surroundings over a period of 13 years. The Cassini mission finally came to an end on September 15, 2017, after which NASA's space probe was directed into the atmosphere of the ringed planet to burn up. The Riddle of the Age of the Rings Even though we know a great deal about the number and chemical composition of Saturn's rings today, there are still many mysteries surrounding the breathtaking ring system. One of the greatest mysteries that keeps experts in suspense is the question of the age of the rings. For example, we still don't know whether the rings were already formed during the development of our solar system, as in, around 4.5 billion years ago, or whether the association around Saturn was formed much later. The latest scientific findings suggest that the rings may have been formed almost 100 million years ago. The Disappearance of Saturn's Rings Regardless of whether the rings of Saturn were formed 4.5 billion or 100 million years ago, one fact is certain. The giant gas planet is constantly surrounded by a network of hundreds of thousands of rings. Some amateur astronomers must have been all the more astonished when, around 2009, they were looking for these rings with their telescopes but simply could see nothing. Due to the natural inclination of the planet and its rings, a phenomenon occurs about every 14.8 years in which the ringed compound is in the so-called edge position. During this position, the narrow edge of the rings is turned towards the Earth, making it practically impossible to see the formations during this phase. Everyone can see Saturn. In order to see Saturn for yourself, you do not need highly technological equipment from the field of professional space research. The ringed planet is one of the five planets in our solar system that we can detect with the naked eye under favorable weather conditions. On a clear night, Jupiter, Mars, Venus, and sometimes even Mercury appear as bright spots in the firmament alongside Saturn. During the summer months, the individual planets can be seen best. Is there life on Saturn? No. The possibility that life forms could form on the gas planet is categorically excluded according to the current state of knowledge of researchers. However, scientists assume that there could be life-friendly conditions on a celestial body in the immediate vicinity of the ringed planet. This is the Saturnian moon Enceladus. 
Saturn's sixth largest natural satellite, made the headlines over the course of the aforementioned Cassini mission. The records of the NASA probe suggest that there could be liquid water beneath the surface of Enceladus. And, as we know, water in liquid form is generally the prerequisite for the origin of life. One year on Saturn. Our Earth is on average about 150 million kilometers away from the Sun. It is known that our blue home planet needs one year to orbit the fixed star of our solar system. At around 1.43 billion kilometers, the distance between Saturn and the Sun is again significantly greater. This circumstance also means that the gigantic gas planet needs much longer to orbit the Sun completely. In detail, one year on Saturn corresponds to about 29 years and 166 days on our Earth. Your opinion interests us. What do you think about the facts we've presented? Has one fact particularly baffled you? Do you know any other fascinating facts about Saturn that we didn't mention in our video? We're already looking forward to your comments. Thanks for your interest. See you next time.